Usually, the PNID is classified or organized in areas or sessions, and that leads to the following question. What is the differences between PNID and UFD? Or you can have other nomenclatures for utility flow diagram. And the truth is that they are quite the same. The main differences is that when we talk about the piping instrumentation diagram, most often we are talking about the main process. If I installing a hydrogen plant, I'm talking about from the natural gas going in up to the hydrogen going out. Or if I'm talking about a refinery, I'm talking about the, the flow or the process of the natural gas or the process of the petroleum to be refined. However, to be able to produce the products that are desired based on refining, uh, reforming of uh, natural gas or liquefaction of CO2, we need utilities. Utilities are streams of fluids that are needed to produce the product, but they don't have straight contact with the process. For instance, to produce polypropylene, I need a cooling system to decrease the temperature of the reactor, of the polypropylene reactor. And the water used to do this cooling, it do not take part of the reaction. However, without this cooling system, without the cooling water, are not able to control the temperature of the process and that can lead to a runaway and an accident in the industrial facility. So the cooling water system is a utility. It can be also steam used for dry the polypropylene or the nitrogen used to purge the lines for removing the flammable fluids. So depending on the size of the industrial facility, it's easier for the company to split what is process, main process, and put that into the piping instrumentation diagram and get the utilities and add to another drawing that in fact is a piping instrumentation diagram. When you have big facilities or big refineries, most often the personnel are responsible for the utilities or uh, the manager responsible for the utilities are different from the personnel and manage management responsible for the main process. So in this way, makes sense to split the pipe instrumentation diagram into pipe instrumentation diagram for the main process and the piping instrumentation diagram for utility and name that as utility flow diagram. But in terms of content, it's the same in the utility flow diagram. You have pipe sizing, instrumentation, equipment, everything that are needed to build or to erect the utility process. So in a strict point, there is no changes, there is no differences between the pipe instrumentation diagram and in the utility flow diagram. It's only a matter of nomenclature.